So I'm here to speak against the elimination of Fairless Square uh, for the bus. Fairless Square is one of the few services that keeps me living and working downtown where I've lived since 1976 and where I located my business in 1978. Both are the last stop in Fairless Square. I've been an avid supporter of public transportation and living and shopping downtown since I moved here because I believe in vibrant city and merchants and shopping locally. You've all made it easy for me to do that until now. I love, and I love to see the smiles on tourist faces when you tell them public transportation is free downtown, whether it's bus or a streetcar or max. And they look at me and they say, you're kidding. That and no sales tax too. We love it. <laughs> we'll bring our convention here next time. I've also spoken up and spoken out and, ch and challenged colleagues when they rant about public, uh, Portland's public transportation. So what do I have today? Currently, I have nearly door-to-door -door frequent service by the bus. I ride it in the summer and winter, regardless of the weather, because remember, I support downtown and shopping locally. My car sits for so long, I need, it needs a battery recharge when I decide to drive it out of town. What about the streetcar and the new green line, you say? Well, the streetcar is two blocks away, and the nearest stop for the green line will be seven blocks to downtown, even though the track itself uh, it comes within two blocks of where I live. Now, two blocks or seven blocks, that's a long way to walk at night, in the dark, in very poorly lighted quarters. The City Council has made driving downtown prohibitive in both cost and convenience. There are drawbacks to living downtown, but TriMet and Fairless Square bus service have embraced us and made it worthwhile. Fairless Square has made it easy to shop downtown to support the art venues, the theaters, and the movie houses. And so you can look at me and say, well, she's old. We'll just give her a discount and honored citizens pass. And I say, sure, that's good for me. But what about the other families that live in my area? And we do have families we have who are trying to keep their lives together. We have children who are, uh, who also are part of families. And we have renters. And then we have the tourists who are down there. With the proposed elimination of Fairless Square for the bus and the horrendous parking rates, I'm looking at Bridgeport. Did you know it has many of the same stores that exist downtown? And it has free shop and free parking as well. And then what about Lake Oswego? Lake Oswego is a very charming town. And it has the same stores, and it even has free parking. I penciled it out, and I've discovered that I can ride cheaper, or other people can take their cars and drive cheaper to Bridgeport and to Lake Oswego than they can under the proposed changes. The um, and then, of course, if I start doing that, I don't have to be a proponent for downtown public transportation anymore. My friends will love that. Another place that looks mighty good right now is Vancouver. My friends who live in Vancouver say, hey, we <coughs> abandoned Portland a long time ago because the cost of living is so high. And come up here where it's much cheaper. They have the same stores. It's not Portland, but I don't think Portland downtown wants me anymore. I don't think the Fourth City Council does. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure TriMet doesn't want me. And I hope the merchants do. So I would urge all of you to support uh, the elimination, or not eliminating the TriMet bus service in Fairless Square. And, and I also urge TriMet to also keep their hands off Fairless Square, leave it the way it's been su successful for years and years and years.